The federal government has invited organized labor to the negotiation table, saying the strike is not in the interest of uh, the nation's interest. Let's bring in our correspondent, Joke Adisa. She joins me for more on this. Joke, what's the latest? Um, you can tell us, you know, in terms of this latest information we're getting from the federal government asking um, labor to come back to the negotiation table. Well, thank you. Uh, what we have now is that. Uh, Labor and the federal government are about now going into another round of meeting uh, with a view to ending this impasse as far as this strike is concerned. And I'm sure it's, uh, this is one news that will gladden the hearts of many Nigerians looking at uh, the effects of that strike uh, all around the, the nation today. Uh, grinding the aviation sector, the maritime sector, uh, the banking sector, of course, is not a child's play. And I'm sure governments will not continue to fold its arms to see this continue. And so basically, this definitely will explain why it had to call a labor again. So, but of course, uh, expectations are that at the end of this meeting, Nigerians will have something to smile with, labor will have something to smile with, and so that at the end of it, it will be a win-win situation. And as the um, meeting begins, do we know if activities have resumed at the nation's airports or activities are still on hold? Of course, uh, until uh, the leadership of uh, organized labor, that is NLC and TUC, uh, direct their members uh, otherwise, of course, uh, the workers would, would certainly not go against their leaders' uh, directive. So uh, with, uh, even the president of the NLC and the president of TUC uh, do not have the power to even unilaterally call off uh, uh, the, the strike, even after meeting with the uh, federal government with that team, they, they have to resort to uh, their organs to which will give them the go, the go ahead to either uh, uh, call up the strike, suspend the strike, or continue with the action. Okay, thank you so much. I know we'll get more details from you and um, our state house, corres state house correspondent Femi much later. Uh, our correspondent there, Joke Adisa, live for us in the nation's capital.